was very well done. Again, the most difficult element for any of the pairs, double axis side by side, really the test as to who was going to win medals. They did it beautifully. And that was where they did have a problem in their original program that they didn't win in Leningrad. Tremendous competitors, this bear taller. Well, Kurt Browning mentioned in an interview that in the competition in Sudbury, he didn't have the killer look. These people certainly have the killer look tonight. Well, they know they're in Canada. They know Canada has three very strong pairs to challenge them. So far, they're answering the challenge. Well, if there's a difference between this pair and the iso Brasseur pair, what it really is a question of is the performance level and also the speed, the individual speed. And I think that this reigning Olympic champion pair has just a slight bit more finesse to their pair. But certainly, the iso and Brasseur are in, in good company with this pair because with the way they skated, they're certainly one of the best pairs in the competition. A moment ago, they went over and did a little salute right to the Canadian judge on the panel, Frances Defoe, who, of course, herself is a former World Pairs champion. Well, Ted, you remember that in the European Championships in Leningrad, I mentioned that the very poor performance they had in the short program was not going to repeat itself in Halifax, and it certainly has not. This, as far as the program goes, is about as good as they can skate. I don't think dramatically it is a masterpiece. I don't think it's like the long program, but this should hold them in a very strong position going into the long program. Yes, you're looking again at vintage Gordie Van Grinkoff. They're marked in a moment. <laughs> 